Hello, I'm Romain Fontaine. I'm an aerospace engineer at the European Space Agency, and I'm the Space Tech Tree Lead at Foresight Institute. One of the goals of the Space Tech Tree Lead is to set up a list of nodes to see the entire landscape of space and space exploration and get a collection of future goals based on inputs from key leaders and experts. And as you may understand, getting and gathering all the information, all of what's going on in space is quite vague. And since it can go from space propulsion to medicine. So one of the things we at Foresight decided to do is to narrow down the fields of possibilities and focus on one hot topic, which is asteroid mining and the long-term objectives. So the way we decided to build up the tree is as follows. So this is the main tree with all the nodes possible. And when we zoom in, we have here one of the examples, which is for asteroid mining. So the way we decided to, to go on is on the left side, we have all the main nodes, which could also be saving fields in space engineering, for example, space propulsion or robotics, navigation, remote sensing, and asteroid mining is one of them. And from the left to the right, we have all the steps that need to be uh, done for the long, for the long term objectives that are at the very far end of the tree. So this can be a process development or a technology development. Either way, they are all uh, noted here and when possible with some examples such as past missions, ongoing missions, or future missions that are planned to uh, improve the TRL of a technology or to make sure that a certain process is doing well. So again, saying asteroid mining, it's quite broad because it can go from uh, uh, asteroid prospecting to resource prospecting as well and in situ resource utilization. So this is why we have a lot of sub nodes which are connected to other space fields, such as ISRU here with other different goals or challenges that need to be uh, came up uh, and overcame uh, in the future. Connected to this, we have some sub tech trees, if I may say, in which for each subdomain, we have only the nodes categorized and based on this current domain. So for example, if we go to space debris, which is one which is quite well developed for now, we have, we have only the sub nodes and technology developments that need to be done for this space debris removal uh, uh, tree. We also have a list of space organizations, which are categorized based on what they are can be space agencies such as ESA, NASA, and so on, but also labs or private, private organizations and companies, and each of them are classified based on what they work on. So the name of multiple companies can be written many times, uh, such as NASA or ESA, because they can work on many different topics. Uh, and also because some of them have different uh, centers, such as NASA Ames, NASA Langley, and so on and so forth. So it's normal to have the name many times, but you, you can see that the colors make sure that we have a different category for each of the names written here. We also have a list of people of key experts uh, that work, work on the specific topic written here. So it can be asteroid mining, but it can also be space medicine, as I said, or space launchers development and so on. So the goal here is to make a list of people that could be worth contacting in the future to have opinions on the tree in general, or to make sure that a list of people is created so that everyone is aware of who works on what. And then we also have related to that a bunch of challenges that need to be overcome in the future for each of the subfields in space engineering or space exploration, such as asteroid probing, asteroid mining, which is the one of interest right now, but also uh, a, bit, a bit more far-fetched, such as ISRU and terraforming here. So that's a pretty good overview of what the space tech tree is about and uh, hopefully we'll have more uh, domain expert feedback in the future. So, so far we have been collaborating uh, only two of us and we hope to have any more collaborations in the future. So that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching.